So here we are at William Creek, Unandata 203. Uh, there is a campground here. A few little sites. Yeah. I don't have to say uh, you should call in here on your way through because you probably have to. Uh, <laughs> unless you've got a shitload of fuel. Oh, look at this uh, rocket. So, out this way, they used to do a lot of um, military testing back in the 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s. And um, this rocket will be one of the you can see where it's just crashed into the ground and peeled itself. Someone's collected it and stood it up. Skylark rocket. Launched in 1957. Yeah. Mainly used to carry scientific payloads. The science of how to carry explosives. <laughs> Pretty cool. But we are on a mission. We've got... We've got a lot more kilometres to do. Uh, the unit data, I mean, it's not... I don't find it a boring ride. I'm sure many people do. You know, the roads, the roads vary. You do have to concentrate. You're speeding up, slowing down. William Creek Driving Academy, first lesson free. <laughs> They're all comedians out here, I can tell you that much. Uh, cool. Oh, and the price of fuel. Drink up, Tom. $2.00. $2.90. In fact, that's still, no one's used that pump since I just filled. 14 and a half litres, $42.05. Ouch. Oh, sorry. Oh, we're getting up to Fink. Yeah, watch the race. Yeah. Oh, it's on the way. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. So I got I got earplugs in, so it's a bit hard to hear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't lip read. Yeah. No worries, thanks. Hey, let's go. Oh, look at that kite. <laughs> awesome. Um. So yeah, yeah. It's uh. It's that type of place. You know, you're so far from anywhere that. People just, they always want to know, oh, what are you up to? You know, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's cool. Out there. 450. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, that's where we're trying to get to. Uh, that's, that's still a long, long way. Anyway, <laughs> see you up the road somewhere. Bye. This is the Arbuckle Bridge. There is a lot of people pulled up to have a look. Have a look at it. It's pretty magnificent. Uh, 1938 meter spans. 19 number, 38 meters. Th 30, sorry. 1930 meter spans. So yeah, it is a pretty cool structure. Anyway, time for us to go. Good 
Mendata, the famous pink roadhouse. Not a lot here, but a pretty important place. Australia's hottest, driest town. There you go. Hopefully all these guys are getting a diesel. $2.90 a litre. There you go, same price. Okay, we're done with uh, Moon and Data, fueled up. Off to Dalhousie for a swim. <laughs> this is the uh, track into Dalhousie, um, where we're still, it's getting pretty late in the day, but we're going to fit a swim in. We have to do it. Um, but we just had a couple of stops one Ollie has lost the, one of the WRs has lost the axle nut so the axle is currently zip tied in place <laughs> um, and then we all started checking what else was loose and uh, a kilometer down the road Mark realized his head stem nut was completely loose so we that's a bit of a Plane to you know get a spanner in there and tighten that so that's just temporarily tightened well when we get to camp I think we'll take it off again put Loctite on it and then do it up again um, and uh, I've got a loose screw just in the front there which is making giving my windscreen a good old rattle so yeah the uh, corrugations are taking their toll <laughs> anyway, see you at Dalhousie. Hopefully, not before. Yeah, so we come off that plateau down into this. What do we call this? The opposite of a plateau. And uh, I think straight ahead on that tree line, not the tr close tree line, the sandy line. That's pretty much where the hot springs are. So. Obviously, they're down in a in a depression. Right, this road is this is the worst road so far. <laughs> it's rough as guts. Not comfortable at all. Oh, well, this is Dalhousie ruins. Dalhousie Springs is another kilometre or two. cattle yards yeah I guess because there was a bit of water here in the springs um, they got cattle Springs. I'm not sure what the time is, but it's like 4.30 or something like that. But we'll have a swim, even if that means we're if it means we're riding back to uh, Mount Dare in the dark. That could that could really happen. Uh, It's working pretty well, man. It's working great. The knees and axle nut. Well, it's not enough horsepower to. Not enough horsepower to worry about the hey, axle nut. Plenty of horsepower to crack those cable ties if you want. <laughs> Here we are at uh, Dalhousie again. Uh, it's just, it's, you do not come past here without going for a swim. doesn't matter what time of day. It's just so nice in there. We're going to see what the other boys thought. So what would you think, Ollie? Uh, it's 
perfect. Perfect. It's the best experience after yeah. riding. It's just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> cool. You see it? It's hot. I want to live in this lake. See the steam over there? Yeah. Oh, I just see sun glare, but. Oh, he's got a nut. Hey, got a nut? There's a dude with a YZ, YZ on a trailer over there. And he handed over the nut, or he had a spare? No, he's got a, well, it's on a trailer, he's done. He's done the system. Oh, he's finished. And now it's on the trailer back so home. So he sold his nut, or he just handed over? 20 bucks. Find out. 20 Is bucks. it 20? Is that what he said? I think so. They're about ah, 20. If you buy it. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, wow, that is amazing. That is yeah. amazing, man. What are the odds? Oh, hey. oh, well, actually, the odds are probably actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah so many dirt bikers around. Yeah. yeah, if we have a Yamaha, I mean, I'm sure it's similar. all the same. All the same. Wow, that's that's, that's, awesome. Awesome. that's awesome, really. That's cool. It takes all his worries away. Yeah, he was stressed. I could tell. I mean, of course, he. Well, yeah, it's not a nice thing to, you know, because you're not, you, you can't relax, you can't ride very. No, yeah. <laughs> So over there is some champion. Someone, someone said, oh, there's some guys with bikes over there. So Ollie goes over there to ask them if they have a nut for, didn't do my chin strap up. Hey Ollie, did you walk over there and just ask them if they had a nut? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, because the guy, that, those two guys in the lake said there are some guys with Yamaha and they're gone riding at the water camp over there. I said, you should talk to them. Oh, okay. So you did. They didn't have any spare parts, but one guy said, oh, I'm done riding. Take one, take one out of my bike. Then I gave him money. Amazing. Yeah. So anyway, these things seem to often happen. XT660, AB108. <sighs> so, anyway, uh, let's uh, head into Mount Dare. Get some dinner. Sun's just about gone. Perfect timing. <laughs> what a story. Okay, catch you later. Another gorgeous sunset. So, why are we going to ride in the dark? Well, at Dalhousie Springs, as nice as it is, there's no campfires uh, and clearly no services of any kind. So. We just decided we'll go into Mount Dare, where we can set up a camp and have a campfire and maybe even have a pub meal, so. It's really a double-edged sword riding it on dusk, isn't it? It's, it's so beautiful, the lighting is good, but the animals are out, you have to be careful. <laughs> Sometimes some of the road details are a bit hard to spot. <sighs> Good morning, yeah, adventurers. <laughs> Day six. Day six, and... We're all still running, just. <laughs> just. Um, no, all good. We're at, where are we? Mount Dare. Mount Dare. I swim at um, Dalhousie yesterday. Mount Dare last night. Mark got pissed as usual. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I was just waiting for it. Uh, and um, yeah, the uh, check the checking the rattles um, had our amazing story. Yeah, dingoes howling last night. Obviously, there's a few around here. That's more than I heard when we we're in the Simpsons. So that was interesting. Um, the old T7 is running well. The high fender is absolutely perfect. No mud flicks flicks up. 
it collects everything the radiator still looks clean like people go oh it's gonna hit the radiator no it's all good radiator still clean um, guides are working perfect uh, as you can see a bit muddy last night um, yeah a few big big hits I reckon I bottom these out well went down to there I guess that's must be pretty close to bottomed out and they bottomed out a couple of times but um all good um, rear tire still looking pretty good that front edge is rounded off that's for sure pretty rocky terrain we've been on a small issue over here Tom says oh shit luckily I just touched it now and found it <laughs> loose could be worse could have lost it yeah because you didn't punch in the little anti-spin thing in. i should have bought a new one you're not meant to reuse them um, okay well we'll, we'll lock the, uh... do that well, i can put we can put loctite on it too i don't know if that'll stay but um yeah okay that's all right we can fix that with we checked your wheel nut didn't we <laughs> all good How's your suspension going? No, you haven't even bottomed this out? Oh, well, you actually, you have. I can see the ring down there, but there's just dust on that bit. WR, nothing bottom out. No. No, there, did you take a few of those big hits? Yeah. Yeah. Fine on the dubs. Fine on the dubs. Uh, so anyway, um, you can watch Tom's channel for all his info. But, um, front tire's still looking pretty good the um yeah that ah, like, yeah, fairly square still i'm obviously wearing done 3000 kilometers um of some some highway and some pretty rocky terrain sand is yet to come so uh yeah anyway continue we're gonna just grab coffee some breakfast and uh hit the road again Hey, so here we are at Mount Dare, and I'm just filling up with fuel, and the guy goes, oh, hi, Nerb, and look who it is, behind the bars. Yeah. Hey, team. Hey. Um, so wh where have you, you're in the full drive. Yeah, we've taken the, brought the car this time, because I like the cold beer and the hot <laughs> steaks. And... Doing it the soft yeah, way, the, the soft, soft way. way. So, yeah, no, we come across the Simpson and go to watch Fink with Nerb. Yeah. Oh, you, you are, you're going yeah, to yeah. Fink itself and find a campsite there? Yeah, just there, go or? out of town and... Yep, camp on the side of the track. Yeah, we're doing that too. So. Yeah, cool. And then we're doing the Madigan line to head back home. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. But it's good to um, be in the car for a change. I can tell you. <laughs> it's, it's been, been a bit cool, but mm. um, yeah, we're, it's always better to be on the bike. Don't don't listen to him. <laughs> but you uh, you got the missus with you? Yeah, I have. Yeah, that's, so see, that's, that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that. that my my missus doesn't like camping. She's like, no, that dirt stuff. No way. <laughs> Take it. Take it. Cool. Okay. Good awesome. to see you. See you later. Bye. Hey, here's the border. Okay, this is the Northern Territory, I think. Oh no, a bit, little bit, little bit further, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's dead. I'm gonna go left here. Oh yeah, that looks alright. Someone didn't like the quarantine station guy. I'll go just behind you because I'm filming. I'll film a little bit. Yeah. No, you go in front. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Oh, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, your bag is in front of your exhaust. It melted a hole. Yep. No. <laughs> what what was melting? Something yellow. Yeah. Dry bag. Oh your dry bag. Shit. Oh, how the two oh that must have been pushing it down, was it? 
This is, uh, oh. Probably my tent or something. Oh, something. S ooh. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is my fucking sleeping bag. Is it a sleeping bag? Yeah. Oh, shit. I think so. No, it's even worse. It's Can we bad. return it now? <laughs> this is my mattress. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's even worse. Oh, because that's, yeah, you bought that from home, yeah? Yeah. Well, I don't think we can patch the mattress, but we can tape this up. Yeah. Yeah, open it up later, not now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's, yeah, it's weird. What the hell is it made of? It might be just one bit of it, might be okay. Yeah. No, because you inflate it. Yeah. I'll put it. I'll put one this way. Hang on. No, no. I'll put one here this way. I think it's my um, my sleeping bag or the or a mattress. What happened? Went in front of the exhaust. Oh, all the exhaust. A big fucking hole. I don't know if I've got enough tape to go. Oh, it's definitely a sleeping bag. You can see down on your indicator. Yeah. Yeah, look. It's all burned. All, right. all the ducks. All the ducks are dead. See? Things happen. <laughs> so, as you saw there, Nuno's mattress, it seems, is toast. <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, we'll survive the next couple of nights and. We've got someone else joining us, Cameron, uh, in uh, about two days' time. So I might give him a buzz and see if he can pick up a new mattress on the way through. Uh, yeah, once we get into Fink, I'll give him a ring and we'll see what we can organise. Uh, very deserty track here now. Just, you know, very thin sand, sand on a clay base and uh, a little bit dusty unfortunately about 30k 32k's from Fink okay so here we are there's the airport rolling into the township of Fink now to see uh, where we are allowed and not allowed to go <laughs> Interesting looking tractor that one. Uh, they won't have a mattress here, will they? I don't know. You can have a look, but I, I doubt it. Twelve seconds later. Just a mattress. Just a mattress replacement. Cut it in half. You guys take it. No, no, no one help him. We just got to laugh. Okay. Oh. You're going to be super comfortable though. Hang on, are we on the track now or the road now? So here we are in at the Fink. Set up some camp on the top of this hill. Hey, we made it. Ah, proper outback. And this is the uh, the racetrack. 
which you can see. And then um, if we stand up on the top of this hill here, we can see it going the other way as well. So this is where we're camping, but as you can see, no trees. So I've done some uh, magic because I keep telling people you can always find trees. Even though there, there was plenty of trees over at the river, but the guys refused to camp there with me. So they want to come up the track a bit. So I've got a tree at ground level comes across and then I had to build down at the low end a little uh what do you call this post and that's my cable stayed <laughs> my cable stayed bridge so yeah I've got my hammock I am successfully up off the ground and uh yeah down here in the in the valley Well, just here camping. Well, the helicopter keeps buzzing us. I think he's just about to land. I'll blow my tent away. It's a little R forty four. Bow. These guys just got dropped off. Got the campfire going, and I'm starting to see how this Fink thing is going it's getting just on dusk and uh a little campsite has turned into freaking there must be a hundred people in that family with the helicopter groups over the other side four drives still coming in <laughs> it's gonna be big big night Cameron doesn't want to focus on it. Bloody torches sets the helicopter on fire. Well, that's it. Gone. They work really well. Flares. <laughs>